हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक एवरीवन तो अब हम मेन स्टोरी पे वापस जाने वाले हैं जैसा कि मैंने प्रॉमिस किया था लास्ट वीडियो में सुरुनो का कॉल आया था अपने पास एंड ही हैज आस्ड अस टू कम एंड मीट द हायर अप्स ऑफ द ओमी अलायंस तो हम जाने वाले हैं उनसे मिलने के लिए तो द टास्क इज द मैन हो न्यू टू मच गो टू द कैसल ओके, आई डोंट नो ये फर्स्ट पर्सन पर्सपेक्टिव पे क्यों चले गया है एंड लेट मी गेट दैट ओके बैक टू नॉर्मल व्यू टू गो टू द कैसल मुझे पता है काफी लोगों ने मुझे बोला है कि कैरेबरे के वीडियोस नहीं आ रहे हैं बट आई विल ट्राई टू मेक दैम आफ्टर आई कंप्लीट द मेन स्टोरी You really like the castle, huh, Joryu? Well, see ya. Tell Surinosan I said hi. Be Kyunki ye game bahut jaldi game pass se jaane wala hai aur apna try ye hai ki game pass se nikalne se pehle hum ise khatam kar le. go to the castle through motor he is waiting at the castle guess i have got no choice but to go but i don't think i have to take the lift right or he is somewhere else thank god i didn't take that This place is quite the atmosphere. <laughs> People ain't coming here for the atmosphere. Exactly why it makes for a safe hideaway. If you wanted a place with no people, you could have found one in Sotembori. Why choose to come here? Cuz what I got to tell you has to do with him. Hmm? That's the Kijin clans. Patriarch. Yep. Omara Nishitani. A name passed down through the generations. That one there's Homare Nishitani the 3rd. Going to be the biggest obstacle when Patriarch Otase breaks up the Omi alliance. What does that mean? It's a long story. Sure you want to hear it. Yes, go on. Next month, the boss is going to be released from prison. And that very day, he's headed straight to Omi Alliance HQ, where they'll all be waiting to greet him. Then he's going to go up on stage and address the whole crowd. They'll all be expecting a speech, a thank you for the warm welcome. But instead, the boss is going to read an official statement he sent to the cops, dissolving the Omi Alliance. That's how everyone will be told the organization's finished. No warning or nothing. Right as the Tojo disappeared and the Omi took Kamurocho with Japan-wide unification at their fingertips. Just like that, they lose their organization, their jobs, their livelihoods. Everything. What do you think's going to happen then? Yeah, won't take much for that room to explode like a powder keg. Why would Watase do something like that? Huh. What you think he can just send them all an email? Or maybe he should read it out loud surrounded by a goddamn police detail. Nah. You got to show you got some stones if you want Yakuza to listen. Anyone's got a problem, you have them say it then and there. The rest gets straightened out the hard way. 
He could talk all he wanted about breaking up the group. But if he didn't do it like this, nobody'd listen. Plus, the other bosses would just say they'd go their own way. But the goal ain't separation. It's total dissolution. I see your point. That's why we gotta get more people on our side in the room when it goes down. Gotta take down some of our tougher opponents beforehand, too. Sure, but who'd take your side on something like this? Daigo Dojima, Goro Majima, Taiga Saijima, and now Kazuma Kiryu. Quite the lineup you've got. Well, that's not all. This next part is top secret. Right now, the Omi Alliance's acting captain is the Tojo clan traitor, Masumi Arakawa. But the truth is, he's with us. A spy under secret orders from the Tojo clan's sixth chairman. What? Both the Tojo clan and Patriarch Watase think Yakuza groups are a thing of the past. Now cops and politicians can switch Yakuza heads around as they like. And each time they do, it's the Yakuza that beat each other bloody over succession. The herd thins out. Only future for us there is as playthings for the powers that be. I see. So before that happens, we dissolve the groups and give the Yakuza a different option. At least that's what the bosses are planning. Omi's so big though, it's too risky busting it up all at once. They gotta do something to make it safer. So, what does Arakawa have to do with this? On the surface, he's a traitor that sold out the Tojo to the governor's cleanup plan. Letting the Omi move in to claim Kamurocho. But really, that was all to split the Omi's gangs down the middle, east and west. All of them heading to Kamurocho have left Sotenbori at half its former strength. Arakawa played his part damn near perfect, almost admirably, you might say. Hang on. When did this operation in Kamurocho happen? That'd be two years ago. And you've been planning the dissolution for that long? Yep. There's just one last loose end to tie up. And it's why I brought you here in the first place. We gotta get rid of Homara Nishitani III. As things stand, He's the only one in the Omi who would stand up to Patriarch Watase. He'll talk shit about officers who are only good at making cash. But the boss, who made his name with his fists? Uh, fact is, Nishitani thinks the sun shines right out his ass. Get some drinks in him, and the guy starts sobbing the same old story about how much he idolizes the man. He finds out we've been planning the dissolution, and all that sappy shit curdles right over. Make no mistake, he'll try to destroy us. Lots of the boss's former followers in the Omi would be bound to rally around Nishitani too. He's got that much influence? Yep. With Nishitani around, the Omi will just reform with him at the center instead. And don't forget, the Kijin clan's specialty is assassination. They'll hunt down the boss, me, and all the Tojo clan brass. Then we'd be right back at square one. So you need me to take care of Nishitani before that happens? That's right. Then you should know that I'm not a killer. Fine by me. We just need Nishitani out of commission when the announcement's made. As long as he doesn't show, the rest will stay disorganized. So, beat him within an inch of his life then before Watase gets out of prison. Yep, but remember, he's patriarch of an Omi Alliance subsidiary. Come in fist flying or stab him in the back. Makes no difference to me. Long as it can't be said, the Watase family is the one challenging the Kijin clan. Fact is, you're a free agent, Kiryu-san. Only you can do this. And you have to act alone. Sounds risky. You realize what you're asking of me? Huh. Gotta get our 50 billions worth, right? I do know one thing for sure. If I attack Nishitani here, my only way out is by helicopter. 
It'd be better to hit him when he gets off the boat. True enough, but he's been living on this tub a year now. Means he's settled in real nice. Way things are going, he won't leave before the boss gets out of jail. And we ain't got that kind of time. All right, then. First, I'll figure out a way to make him want to leave. And how the hell are you going to do that? You don't control me just because you paid for my services. I'll think of something soon enough. I'm already here, so I can take my time and prepare. Hmm. Suppose that's true. Excuse me, Mr. Surano. The owner would like a word. What? The owner? You mean... Mr. Nishitani, yes. Come on now, Surano. Gotta give me a heads up next time. They're acting like we're strangers. My apologies, Patriarch. Just figured you might be busy. There's something you need from me. Boy, have I got a great view right now. I could blow your head off from here. No scope or anything. What do you think? Should I give it a try? I can come say hello, if that's what you'd like. That's more like it. Bring Joryu here with you, too. Hmm? Joryu? Not sure what you mean. Give me a goddamn break, Sorno. You calling me blind? Not like it's that fucking hard. It's Joryu, all right? Shishido didn't introduce us properly. Come and say hi. Uh, actually, Patriarch, Joryu's here on the condition that his identity won't be revealed. Though Atase family promised to cover for him, so I'm afraid I can't. Oh, really? You're quite a little tease, aren't you, Surino? You saying that only makes me want to know more. Patriarch, what is this? Long as you're in the castle, I'm your god. Better say your prayers. So you keep your nose out of this, Cyrano. I'll find out who sticks really in those pants. Hey, wait! Captain Cyrano, your conversation's over. Let's do as he said and stay out of it. Very well. Then I guess I have no choice. We'll have to settle things the hard way, as usual. Let's go! This is bad. Patriarch Nishitani's on his way here. 
You gotta get to the helipad fast as you can. Akame should be there. Get out of the castle and be ready for what comes next. And what will you do? I'll talk to the Patriarch. Tell him you ran out on me. I'm with the Omi till the boss gets out. Can't blow my cover before then. Things really seem to be heating up. Wait before you go. Hit me once till they believe my story. Hey, I wasn't ready. I was holding back. A lot. Yeah. It's him! Joryu's here! How about this? Ready for this. This is Think you'd come right to us. Here we go. You come from. How about this? Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. 
Well, that was too many people. And the action sequence before this was so good. And our Jorio is becoming Spider-Man. I love this sequence. are sure going to have someone higher up now Yeah. <laughs> 
हेल्थ थोड़ा कम हो गया ग्रैंड एंट्री अब वो हैमर लेके आएगा तो हम उसको छोड़ देगा मुंडी तोड़ सा लेगा Fight me! Oh my God! Jor, you lighten up a little. Why don't you? Cops don't come around here, so nobody's gonna care about your real identity. So, take the goddamn shades off. Patriarch, could I ask you to just leave him alone? Jor, you isn't even telling us who he really is. You said that already, and I still don't fucking care. Fine. Oh, you want to see my face that badly? Then it sounds like you and I will need to settle this with our fists. Jory. Sorry, but I don't take orders from anybody I can wipe the floor with. Patriarch. <sighs> That's real good, Jory. You talking like that's got me hard as a rock, <sighs> sir. Let's go, and none of you bastards better step in. Been so damn long since I've gotten any action. I rose up too high in the ranks, and now no one will go at it for real with me anymore. It's giving me some real blue balls. Now I'm throbbing so hard it's killing me. You sure that it's a fight you want? 
Or is it something else? Huh. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. You'll be on your knees begging me to finish you off. If that's how you're gonna play it, then it's fine by me. Wanna cut loose? I'll oblige. Well, he is dead. He is the first one to dodge that move. He is good. At least better than this. Minions. Finally, he is also going for the fist. No one can kill a dragon. Ugh. Patriarch! Oh man. Sure tied my ticket on that. I've been a goddamn fool. Care to explain? Joryu, was it? No fucking way. That isn't your real name, is it now? You, my friend, ought to be six feet under. Ah, <sighs> so I was right. And nobody's supposed to know, are they? Can't pull one over on me, though. Uh, Patriarch, what are you talking about? You knew this whole time, didn't you? Who he really was. <laughs> I knew he wasn't just any old asshole. No, this guy's the real deal. You might even call him the Dragon of Dojima. And that completes chapter 3 for us. I knew he wasn't just any old asshole. No, this guy's the real deal. You might even call him the Dragon of Dojima. Hey, enough already, Joryu. We ain't gonna get out of here if you don't knock that off.
What are you standing around for? Your boss needs a hand. Stupid piece of shit! Quit fucking around! You really think you're getting out of here alive? Hey now, that ain't gonna fly. Jody is the Watasi family's guest, you hear? You can't just off him in front of me. I ain't backing down after what he did to me and the Patriarch. Yeah? So you're gonna ignore Patriarch Nishtani's orders? Huh? Before Fist started flying, the Patriarch told you to keep your hands off him. Seemed crystal clear to me, don't you think? I don't remember that shit! What's your deal, fuckface? Running your mouth with that dumbass haircut. My hair's dumb? So what's it gonna be? You're gonna ignore the Patriarch's orders, defy the Watase family captain, and off Joru? And how about the rest of you? Go on, speak up! Looks like you're all alone. Now wait a second! It's fine. Just watch yourself if you're gonna burn bridges with the Watase family. Cause if you take it there, you'll be lucky if you get a swift death. Or are you gonna keep running your punk ass mouth? If so, you got some serious stones. I'll light some incense for you at your funeral. <sighs> no, your fucking place! Uh, I'm sorry! Sorry about that, Joe. You can go now. I'll fill Patriarch Nishtani in on everything. Joryu, get more than you bargained for. <laughs> Why is everyone giving us the stink eye? Ignore them. Just get me out of here. When Nishitani wakes up, it's gonna get ugly. Always bringing the party everywhere you go. Pretty impressive. Well, there goes our entry to Caterbury. We can no longer meet I. Sorry, guys. There will be no more video of AI. <laughs> Hello? It's me, Sereno. I just left the castle, too. Yeah? What about Nishitani? He was like a cat in heat the moment he came to. He's got it so bad, there's no telling what he'll do to me if I'm not careful. He told his goons to find Joryu and bring him to me. So you should be expecting company soon. Nishitani won't come himself? <laughs> How lazy of him. The current teaching clan doesn't have their own turf. Their new kind of crew. Question is, how we're we gonna get them off the ship? I may have an idea. Can you meet me in Sotumbori and bring as much cash as you can wrangle up? How much we're we talking? Definitely not 50 billion. Just as much as you can carry there yourself. I can have it ready by tomorrow. Where should I wait? Mm, let's see. How about Bishamon Bridge? I'll explain the rest there. Gotcha. I'll be in touch as soon as I get the cash. Okay. Looks like that is it for this video, guys. I'll meet you all in the next one so that we can finally end chapter 4, enter chapter 5. And I guess that's the last one. Yep, we are on the last second chapter right now. Hope you are enjoying this. See you in the next one.